Hello everyone, welcome to Mother Nature's Masterpieces. My name is Kim Curran, I'm a naturalist with Calvert County Natural Resources, and today we're going to be doing pine cone painting. This is a project that I've done many times at lots of different types of programs, and I really like this project for a couple of reasons. Number one is the materials are very minimal. They're very easy to gather. You don't have to go out to the store and buy a bunch of new stuff. It's usually stuff that I just happen to have around anyway. Another reason why I really like this project is it's very simple. So even with the youngest children, this is something that's pretty easy for them to do. But it's also a lot of fun and older children tend to like it as well. So if you have a wide age range that you're working with, this is a great project to do. Um, and again, it's just kind of a simple, fun thing. I use it all the time, so I hope you enjoy it. As far as materials go for this project, it's very simple. You're going to need paint and you're going to need paper. Now, usually for anything that involves paint, I will use cardstock just because it's thicker and a little more heavy duty. It holds up better when you're using a lot of paint on them, but you can use any type of paper you want. You can use computer paper or construction paper, whatever you have, whatever you want to paint on. You're also gonna need a pine cone. No specific requirements as far as pine cones go, just any pine cone that you can find. That's the one I'm gonna be using. And you're gonna need some type of container. And my favorite type of container to use for these um, projects are tubes. So this is a mailing tube for things like large scale photos or documents that can't be folded that maybe are too big to fit in a standard envelope. But you can use potato chip cans also if you wanna try using a tube. I just think they're a lot of fun. You can hold them in one hand and they're like a maraca when you shake them, they're a lot of fun. But you do not have to use a tube. I'm also gonna be doing this project using a box, just a regular cardboard box. So any box that you have around, you can use. I have also used cereal boxes for this project. And the only issue with cereal boxes is the cardboard is very thin. So if you're gonna do this project multiple times, the more that you do it, the more paint that gets on the inside of that box, the box is gonna to start to wear down a little bit more. That's why those thick cardboard boxes are a little bit better. But if you're only gonna do this project once or maybe twice, cereal boxes work fine. You could do it using a shoe box, any box that you happen to have around the house, or if you can come across one of these tubes, they're a lot of fun too. But otherwise, that's it. You need a container, paint, paper, and a pine cone, and that's all. So let's get started. So the first thing that you're gonna do is you're just going to place your paper inside your container, whichever container it is that you're using. The great thing about these tubes also is that you can place your paper in long ways, just like that. They are pretty much designed to hold paper-sized documents. Even the potato chip cans are big enough that you can stick your paper in long ways. And you can see it doesn't wrap around itself. So this is nice and wide. So you don't have to worry about pieces of the paper getting covered up. And then for my box, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm just gonna take my piece of paper and put it in my box. Just gonna lay it as flat as I can get it. Now this box isn't quite the right size, so it's a little bit small for my piece of paper, but that's okay. I'm just gonna curl it up a little bit on the sides. Not a problem, it is what it is. All right, this is kind of a messy abstract art project, so if things get a little bit bent up or a little wonky, it's not that big of a deal. So that's the first step. And now we're ready to go ahead and put our pine cones in and then we'll start painting. So our next step is that we're just gonna take our pine cone, put it in our container, whichever container we're using, and then we're gonna do our paint. So for my tube container, I'm going to be using pink and you're just gonna put a little bit in there, right in the center of the container. I'm gonna use blue, pour a little in there, and purple. You can use as many or as few colors as you want. I find that when you use too many colors, it gets a little crazy and all the colors just kind of start to meld together. If you just use a couple of nice bright colors, 
then you get a really nice result. So you can see inside my pine cone. I did get a little bit on the paper. Again, doesn't really matter because it's all gonna get kind of splashed around in there anyway. So there is that one ready to go. Now for my box, I'm gonna do a little bit of a different color scheme. Woo. Got my pine cone in my box. And the other thing with a box is how you wanna do your paint is really up to you. Some people like to just put the paint right onto the pine cone. And what I like to do is I like to just kind of abstractly draw like scribbles on my paper with my paint, but that's really up to you. If you wanna just coat your pine cone in paint, you can do it that way. I'm gonna just go like this, squirt, 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 with my brown paint. I'm also gonna use a darker blue, like that, and a green. Okay, so for my box, it's gonna start out looking like that. All right. And now comes the fun part. We get to shake. Okay, so I'm done with my shaking. I had my fun. This is a lot of fun to do. Um, if you've got kids, like make a game out of it. You know, make it where you play a song and they have to shake until you pause and then they have to freeze and then you keep shaking when the music comes back on. It's fun. I mean, kids love to just kind of shake their bodies and make noise and things like that. So we're gonna go ahead and open it up, see what it looks like. So for our box, Here it is, our pine cone splatter artwork. Still got a couple little pieces of pine cone on it. And if you don't want those on there, just pick them off and throw them out. Um, sometimes people like to leave them on. It makes it like a little bit 3D if you're into that kind of thing. So that is what my box picture looks like. Now you can still see these thicker areas, which is where I actually scribbled the paint on and that's the kind of thing where if you don't really want it to look like that if you just want the splatters you're going to want to put your paint directly on your pine cone so you'll notice the difference when we open up our tube because on our tube one the paint really mostly just went directly onto the pine cone so for this one is really cool I love this just because of the dichotomy between like the thick strip right there and all these little tiny splotches right there it looks really awesome I love this color scheme too it's a lot of fun so you can see the difference though for the one in the tube most of the paint was just on the pine cone so it really was just kind of hitting these areas um, right here is where I had actually gotten the paint onto the paper so it looks a little bit different, but to me, that's what makes this really cool. It's got these two very different styles on one page. So there you have it. I mean, that's the whole project. You shake your container, you take your paper out, and you're done. It's a lot of fun, simple, easy project that you can do. And I hope that you enjoy it. I hope that you'll try it at home and let me know how it turns out. Thanks for watching.